Hi you guys, this lesson is on section 5.4, which is writing function rules. Okay, another word for function rules is equations. Okay, so given a xy table, you got to come up with a function rule or equation. Okay, the first thing you want to do is look at how you go from 1 to 5, 2 to 6, 3 to 7. If you can find some way that you can add, multiply, subtract, or divide, that would be the easiest one. So if I look at this, I can see that I'm plusing 4 to get to there. I'm going to plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. And you can see the, the pattern. So my answer for this is going to be y equals x plus 4. It's this number, which is x, plus 4. And that is going to be my function rule. It's y because y is up here. In this case, if I have f of x on the output, instead of writing y, I'm going to write f of x is equal to, okay? And if I look at this, I can see from 5 to 3, 6 to 4, I can notice a pattern. I'm minusing 2 to get to each one. So that's just going to be x minus 2, okay? Print some pretty simple ones as you look at it. The other one you want to try check out is if it multiplies or divides. I can see that I'm times into 3, times 3, times 3, and times 3. It works for all of them, so it's going to be y is equal to, 3 times x, or 3x, but you don't put x times 3, you write 3 times x, okay? The last one I have over here, I can see it's a little bit different. I go from 1 to 1, and that's times in 1, or add 0. This one I'm going to add 2, or times 2. This one I'm times in 3. So I can see I'm times by 1, times by 2, times by 3, or multiply, multiply by 4. I can see it changes. It's not the same as these. But if I look at this number with this number, I can see that they are the same. So in a way, it's like squaring the numbers. So y, or f of x, because that's my output, is equal to x squared, or x times itself. Okay, sorry, I can see that there is a glare, so I'll move it. So f of x is equal to x squared in that case, because you can see it changes. Okay, here's another way. If you, if you can't see it right away like these, or it's plus 4, minus 2, times 3, and all that. If you come to a problem that looks like this, where you can see it's plus 3, I'm adding 5 here, I'm adding 7 here, I'm adding 9 here, and I kind of multiply to get it. I can see that these, these addings are changing. What you want to do then is switch your strategy. Go from this number to this number. And I can see from 4 to 7, I plus 3. From 7 to 10, I plus 3. And then from 10 to 13, I'm plusing 3. That's good. It, it increases by 3 every time. That is going to be your slope or the number next to the x. That 3 goes here in front of the x. Okay. I'm going to put it there. But now what you got to do is you got to check... From when I multiply by 3, if I multiply 3 times 1 and I go to 4, I need it to add 1 now. So after multiplying by 3, I need it to add 1 over here. If I go 3 times 2, I get 6, plus the 7, plus 1 is plus 1. So I can see it's going to be 3x plus 1. And that's going to be my function rule or my equation. Okay. I know that might have been kind of hard to see, so let's do another example. So I have this one here, and I can see from 4 to 11, I cannot multiply anything. So if I start adding, I can say I plus 7, over here I plus 9, I plus 11, or I added 11. So I know already it's going to be a different type of rule. Okay. So what I do is, I check out this. And again, I added 3 to get there, I added 3 to get there, and I added 3 to get there. So when I write this function rule, f of x is equal to 3x, because again, this 3 goes down in front of the x. Now I need to see what I need, when I multiply the x by 3, what do I need to do to get to 11? So if I go 4 times 3, I get 12, and I need to minus 1 to get to 11. So I'm minusing 1 now. And let's check if it works for the other one. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 1 is 14, it works. 6 times 3 is 18, minus 1 is 17. So I know my equation or function rule is not going to be 3x minus 1. That is not explained in the book. Um, it's just a shortcut that I found 
to help you guys. So again, look for simple uh, patterns. If you cannot find it, if you see that the pattern changes, try this pattern. To try to see if it works that way. Okay. So here's another harder one. I can see that something's changed. I added seven here. Um, I added nine here and I added 11 here. So that doesn't work. Okay. So I cannot use that one either. And I cannot do the other one. So what that means is you got to check out your squares again. Remember the x squared? Okay. So now if I square it and I go 3 squared and I get 9 and I go plus 1, there's my 10. If I go 4 squared is 16 plus 1, 5 squared is 25 plus 1, it's working. So now I can say y is equal to x squared plus 1. Because again, this is my x's. The 3, 4, 5, 6 is my x's. So if I went 3 squared is 9 plus 1, you get the 10. 4 squared is 16 plus 1, you get the 17. Okay, so you can see that. Homework check number one, simple problem. Write the function rule. Okay, write a, write a function rule for this. Please, write, I do want you to write the original problem and then write the function rule. So write this and then write your y equals to whatever. Okay, that's homework check number one. The next part is doing word problems. So you can see here. If kala costs $5 per, per pound, write a function rule or an equation. If x is equal to the number of pounds, you can just say f of x is equal to 5 times the number of pounds. And that's all it is. It's pretty simple function rule. Okay? If it's $5 per pound, 5x, 5 times the number. That's going to be like your slope. Okay? So here's a little harder word problem. And it says Cavelu, he wants to sell Pai. So he spends $400 on kalo and tools to make the pa'iai. And then he sells it for $8 per pound. Write a function rule. So if x is equal to the number of pounds, the way you would write that equation is just simply f of x is equal to. And it's $8 per pound. So just like we did in the other equation here with the 5x, okay, what you would do is you would write 8x, but now he spent $400. So that means he's down $400. He's losing $400. So it's minus $400. Okay. So your function rule would be f of x is equal to 8x, which is $8 per pound, times, I'm sorry, minus the $400. And that would get him there. Okay. So that's how you write your function rules for word problems as well. So be careful. If they spend money, it's actually minus $400. Don't forget, it's minus $400. Okay. Your last thing for this short video is going to be homework check number two. Write a function rule. I can tell you now that people are not going to get it. So it's going to be, the answer is going to be y is equal to 2x squared plus 1. y is equal to 2x squared plus 1. Okay, um, That's the answer. I'm giving you the answer. Those people who are not listening to this will not know how to do this, or either that, or they're going to be a genius. Okay, so y equals 2x squared plus 1. Please do both homework checks, and take care.